it's Pink Penguin and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I thought I'd show you guys how to make some delicious jelly-filled donuts so that you can make them in your home. So to make jelly-filled donuts, you're going to need some jasmine rice, some seaweed, which you only need one package, but we have three, some salmon or other stuff to put inside it, like tuna or anything you want to put inside of it, and if you want to add some extra spice, you can get some furikake. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take two cups of rice and put them in a medium-sized pan. Oh. Okay, so now you're going to want to take two and a half cups of water and put it in with the rice. So we're adding more rice so that we can make more jelly-filled donuts to eat. Remember if you add more rice, you also have to add more water. So now you turn on the stove. How hot do you want it for the rice, Mom? Um, you want to put it on high and you bring it to a boil and then you reduce the heat to low and put the lid on and cover it and simmer for 25 minutes. Alright, so see you guys in 25 minutes. So it's been 25 minutes, so now we're going to open the lid and look at all that rice. If Mom's hand would get out of the way. Oh, sorry. Now when you're handling the rice, you're going to want your hands to be wet and you're going to want to put some salt on them. So, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Then, I'm going to put some salt on them. Maybe if I have a little too much. <laughs> so you're gonna want to scoop some rice up. Be careful, the rice will be hot, and even if you're wearing gloves like I am, they might still the heat might still go through the gloves. You're gonna to want to compound it together, and if you want to, add some seasoning. I don't know how to. Add, I've never added seasoning to this before, so let's see how this goes. You're going to want to make it into a little ball. Once you got it in the ball, you're going to want to poke a little bit of a hole in it. And you're, that's when you add your little filling of food. Now the rice will be sticky, so just watch out for that. So I'm going to take a teeny bit of salmon and try to get it inside, which will be difficult and you might have to reshape your ball. Uh, which will be difficult. Yeah, this isn't the easiest thing to make, especially if you're not good at cooking like I am. Then you'll put more rice on top, and then, and then you're going to want to wrap the seaweed around the bottom. You might want to take a little strip of it instead of like the whole thing, so, whoops. You know what, forget it. This will work. <laughs> and, there's your jelly filled donut. Now you just do that until you run out of rice. This is a great jelly filled donut. Isn't that origami? Onigiri. Oh, onigiri. A April Fools! Hope you enjoyed the video! So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Basically, there's a joke in Pokemon where Brock's holding a, a rice ball, which is called onigiri, and he says, These donuts are great! Jelly filled are my favorite! Nothing beats a jelly filled donut! So I thought I'd poke fun at that and make a video about me making this, but calling it a jelly-filled donut. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great April Fool's Day. And remember, don't take any video you watch today seriously. Bye!